Hi guys, so today we have a look at the, la the last part from the laser range finder. So obviously it is the receiver side of it. We did already have a first look in a previous video. So the goal today will be to uh, remove this PCB and try to have a look at the shielded box here, which I did uh, never have access to for now which may contain some receiver array. It is just connected with two times two wires. I did already unsolder them in a provision of uh, the disassembly. So first about this. Uh, so we have a thing here which is uh, coated with uh, gunk. It is a two wires device, so I guess it may be a photo cell or photo diode. Let's see if I can uh, test it with my component tester. If it gives any result or not. On this PCB we just have uh, one uh, resistor, one uh, diode and one little uh, toroidal transformer. Not much. So what do we have? Yes, it is testing like a resistor. So let me see if I can find some light. Not here, I'm not sure where is my light. But in fact, if, if I shine a light into this thing, will it make a change or not to the value? I can try like so. It is not uh, very easy. It should be good. So we are testing uh, no, the same value. So. Maybe in fact I am testing this resistor here and not the device itself. It may require some unsoldering. Yes, it is the value of this resistor in fact. It is probably in parallel with the device. So I will maybe unsolder this late later and we will have a look. So for now, I turn off this light. For now, we will uh, show this part here. I did uh, loosen a little bit this ring, and it seems now I can move this part. So there is some kind of a ball joint. So it must be for uh, aiming uh, precisely a nautical piece inside. We will probably see it better when I uh, open the box here and uh, remove the PCBs. So there is a shielding cover here. And by the way, this uh, screw is not the correct size. I need to replace it with the proper one. Okay, here is just the cover. So as you can see, we have two PCBs in it, with a shielding in the middle, and uh, again the box. So it seems this metal box is attached with set screws. Luckily, these ones are not uh, stuck, so I will be able to remove them. So if I pull here, first PCB. This little uh, interconnect piece are use, used. We have a bunch of uh, round uh, ICs. SFC 2723M, my, made by Thompson CSF. We have some uh, probably precision resistors here. The 2N something, 2905 transistor. One more uh, round IC and this uh, ceramic body IC 
SFC 5517 AGM. Can you see it? Yes, I think so. Probably an obscure device. Uh, a trim pot here. And you can see quite uh, thick conformal coating. Okay, the second one. I think it will pull off like so. Yes. So here we have uh, SN5517 AG. So it is the same number as so the other one. Some uh, secret, secret box here, date code 76. Not sure what it is. It is a three pins device. So maybe it is a delay line, something like this. One more uh, round uh, I see here, made by TI. This one. It is written on it uh, 52733L. And then some uh, nice uh, capacitors. Serial number on the PCB. Okay. So here on the bottom, we have uh, capacitors. Uh, this one seems uh, quite uh, weird and sad, maybe. Promisic is the brand. And uh, one uh, diode here, some resistors. Okay, so now it seems that for removing this box, I need to remove this PCB assembly. So, let me um, do some uh, disassembly. Okay, so I didn't screw stuff, uh, and now I can remove this PCB. We have little uh, clumps as you can see, very little pieces, probably very expensive to manufacture, they are in aluminium. So, here in the middle, there is a shielding PCB. We have a better view now on the capacitor and the military kind multi pin connector. Okay, now I can try to remove this box. I have three set screws. So it may just be a matter of loosening the screws. We up. Should be enough. And yes, it is coming off. So we have this box. Within the middle, what seems to be a, a diode, in fact, little photodiode with no co glass cover on it. And here we have all at the bottom, I'm sure if you can see it. Yes, we have an optical, like so maybe. We have an optical piece that can move around. We uh, set up, yes, it is a little uh, ball with a uh, lens inside. As you can see, it can be turned completely and set very precisely, apparently. So this is interesting. And we have this little uh, poking uh, tube here with uh, what seems to be an uh, a glass piece at the end, so I guess it is a light pickup going to this device with some piece of optical uh, conduit, optical fiber, or something like so. So, really, really interesting. And here we have uh, this side of the window is very uh, opaque to uh, visible light. Maybe I can try as yesterday with my remote. If it fits inside, it 
is not easy like so no it is not easy because the thing is very deep so okay so it is one of a kind device so now the most interesting this little box with the uh, very small device here here it is absolutely the first time I open it no clue of what I will find inside there is some uh, EMI gasket here uh, gasket material and the two wires two pairs of wires ok so let's be quite uh, delicate yes I suspected I need to drive these wires through the holes it will be a pain to put them back in place by the way and uh, here is what we have little PCB with the special item not sure if I can remove it but anyway yes it may be possible let me undo these two screws here So if it will come or not. Yes. So we can have a detailed look at it. It will be very fun to put all this together by the way. Yes, here we are. So we have this part with uh, this uh, mounting piece stuck in place with a nut here some uh, fiber material washer and we have this device there are numbers on, on it but they are half uh, way erased so I cannot uh, tell anything about them on the PCB just have uh, transistors on passive parts it is a free pin device and uh, one little uh, clip die on, on this uh, side maybe I can try to use a magnifier for you and we can try to have a better look at it but not sure if it would be really easy like so as you can see there is one little uh, clip die in this uh, box so I was expecting to find some kind of uh, XY array with several sensors but uh, no it is just uh, a receiver a photo transistor probably so everything is set very precisely in order to be able to pick up the signal from the laser in fact the signal is a ref from the, the pulse from the laser is uh, reflected onto the target and uh, comes back to this uh, piece to be measured uh, they measure the delay probably between the pulse and the the return of, of the light and it allows to know the distance of a target ok so I guess it is all for this teardown guys here are the parts of the thing I will uh, probably spend, spend some time to put it back together in particular uh, route these wires through the holes will be fun so I hope you did uh, enjoy this uh, teardown of a laser range finder uh, I do not know yet what will be the next uh, item 
but I have a few more uh, to show anyway, so no worries about this. Thanks for watching for now. Bye bye.